about to have this again for breakfast because it was that good. Good morning, y'all. We just had an amazing breakfast. Second day in a row, we went to the same spot because it was that delicious. And right now, where are we heading, Ruthie? We're going to a famous train station that's known for its tile work. <laughs> it's one of the oldest train stations in Porto, and it is one of the most famous train stations in the world. Also, we probably seem extremely low energy, and the reason why is because there is a crazy loud thunderstorm last night which woke us up at 3 a.m. and we both couldn't go back to sleep. But we have a few impressions of Porto that we definitely want to share with you guys. Number one is how friendly and warm the people are. Makes us want to live here. Number two is there's poop on the ground everywhere. <laughs> I've stepped in so much poop here. It's not human poop. It's dog poop, but uh, the city's so beautiful. The food is amazing. The people are incredibly nice. I'm like crying. I'm happy, I promise. I'm just tired. <sighs> Every time I see people with rolly bags, I get low-key jealous because we have to carry like 30 pounds on our back every time we travel. Yeah. Do you guys tend to travel in rolly backpacks or just with a backpack in general? We're backpack people, not rolly bag people. Yeah, but I kind of want a rolly bag. Low-key. All right. Sal Bento? Yeah. <laughs> How many times do you guys think we're gonna get lost throughout this trip? What would you guys consider me? Like, technically I'm white because I was born in Egypt and I moved to America when I was seven and my whole family lives in Egypt. For whatever reason, in America, Egyptians are considered white. I don't consider myself white though. What do you consider yourself? I don't know, Middle Eastern? Yeah, I mean, I would say Middle Eastern also, but that's not like a thing that we have to check off for college apps. I think, yeah, right? so I put black on my college app. No, you didn't. Yeah, because Wait, you did? I put African American because technically I'm African Wait. and American. Yeah, I know you are. Though so, that's our convo for today. You guys are getting way too heavy. Oh my God. What should we name our camera? What should we name him? Bento. Name bento. 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 Uh, I think like uh, Bento Box. Yeah, that's, uh, I yeah. don't think he's a bento. Damn it, all right. You guys, yeah. comment below. Let us know what you think yeah, the name should be. Should be. Look at this handsome face. Yo, I love these doorknobs. Oh, it's a They're hand. so great, it's the hand. Don't knock, hammer. I hate when he knocks on random doors. It's <laughs> so uncomfortable. Porto ding dong ditch. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's another one. Stop, hammer. Wait, I'm not gonna knock it. on it, but look. <laughs> They're picking up all the poop. Oh, that's cute. Work it. Work it. Wait, they're actually moving their feet at the same time. That's talent right there. Why can't we be more cute? So we're heading over to Sao Bento and it's supposed to be the most beautiful train station in the world. We have this much water left. Alright, hope you guys ride that. Bye. Now we can guess the history of Portugal by reading the tiles. And he was a slave worker, this guy. Look at this guy working over here. Him and his wife are just chilling. What's good, guys? Get up, do some work. This is my boy over here, Frederick III. Seriously, like this train station is absolutely beautiful and we definitely recommend you guys come check it out. Like, it baffles me that they're able to reach this high and put up the tiles. Oh, she's shy. Is she ready to be courted? Oh, what's good? What's her name, Brittany? Wait, look at that chain that the goat has, though. Whipping the chain right there. The best part about this is it's free 99. Can you hold this? I can't do both at once. What? She found a penny on the ground. They had umbrellas back then. Wait, but this umbrella looks like it's from now. <laughs> like, look at them. <laughs> oh, who is he? Maybe he'll let me talk to him. I have a girlfriend. You need to chill out. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? <laughs> Fresh new kicks. <laughs> the new style is hiking boots. Everybody's doing it. <laughs> I think they're hideous. <laughs> I always tell Hammer that if he records artists on the street that he should definitely leave at least a couple coins because that's the right thing to do. Oh, 
Oh, there is a water on the lens. I can see it now. Uh, can I blow dry it? <laughs> no, it's still is that there. Working? Wait, sorry. Just lay it out in the sun for a minute, you know? Don't touch it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I really want to get that water off. How did that water get on so far away? <laughs> the water's still on the lens. Get off of here. There's two. There's two waters now. There's two waters. It multiplied. Hammer, are you spitting I'm on the lens? I'm spitting on the lens. Today's a free day. People have told us that walking along the water is very nice. Apparently. That's what we're going to do. Apparently it causes cancer, as does everything else in the world. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh wait, we can go into this museum. We almost made it to the water, you see how close we are. But we're gonna jump into this museum if it's free. Oh, it looks like it's free. Ruthie, look, it says free. This means Ruthie gets to go to the bathroom. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what I was gonna say. Oh, the museum, this is not the museum? This is like an exhibition. Oh. Look at the cat. And the dog. Doge. Cat. So you can't go to the bathroom? In the museum. But how much is the museum? I don't know. We'll find out in a second. This is actually yeah, really nice. Yeah. This is medicinal pasta. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait. I've been eating pasta all my life and I didn't know it was medicinal. The museum is called Casa du Infant. Infant translates into prince. So it's the, the house of the prince. Usually this museum costs money, but on the weekends it's free and they have really nice bathrooms here. This museum is like a history museum of Porto and specifically talks about <coughs> Prince Henry the Navigator, which I'm kind of excited to learn about because I don't know much about him. We're gonna explore the museum. Kudos to all the historians who figured out which coin was used in which years. This museum is really interesting. Uh, Vasco da Gama was the first to create a route that went all the way from Europe into the Asian world. That museum was actually really cool. I'm really happy we stumbled upon it because I remember learning about some of those voyages in high school, but not really any specifics at all. Now we're gonna head over to the waterfront and basically chill there for about three hours until bask in the sun <laughs> bask in the sun for three hours until the photography museum opens up can you drink on the streets in porto uh i don't know check this guy out check this guy out he's chilling what's up guy oh are you shy dude what's up are you good come on dude come back hey are you good man oh. <laughs> <laughs> where the sun is right now, but I think the clouds are coming in from there. Turn around. Oh, it's about to rain. <laughs> oh my god, one side. <laughs> Storm Beautiful <is> day, <laughs> great day. Turn around. Screwed. They can just eat it. Oh, he was eating the fish. He's gonna go back to it. Watch this. Ready? Oh, eat it. Eat it. That's a fish right there. Come on, dude. Go back to eat your food. It's okay. You can continue eating. Don't worry about it. We won't, we won't judge you. Oh, oh, get it. Get it. Oh man, he's really eating. That's how they eat. It's like we're in the wild. Hammer ran to snatch this spot on a bench. We finally got somewhere to sit down and we got two beers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna enjoy an hour or so over here before heading over to the photography museum. Unless it pours on us first. Then we'll run somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> We got like 30 minutes in the sun yeah. <laughs> before it rains. We're trying to find shelter to kill time until the rain stops. Hopefully find a spot, otherwise we'll just go into the cafe and get coffee. Hopefully this is free 99 and it fits in our budget. Not going in there because it costs 10 euro. But one of the best things that you guys can do for free in Porto is walk throughout the streets and get lost in the alleyways. It's so beautiful. Just take it all in as you're walking and just get lost in the city as a whole. 
Another awesome thing to do for free is the river. Yes, do the river for free. <laughs> just taking the sights from the river. I think it was awesome. Um, a beer there was one euro per person, so just get one and just enjoy the sights. It's me and Hammer. They all have little rain roofs, I love it. So, we finally made it to the photography museum. I love photography so much, and Ruthie also loves photography. Okay, cool, sorry about that. We can't film. We hope you guys enjoyed the last few days just as much as we did. Porto has really turned into one of our favorite cities in all of Europe, and now we're gonna go catch a train to go to Lisbon. See you guys in Lisbon tomorrow. Time to edit. How much? I have 79%, so I should have enough percent to do this, which isn't bad. We are on the train now from Porto to Lisbon, and we're going to spend a few hours editing videos and pictures. Alright, we just checked into our Airbnb. It is a private room in someone's home, and this is what it looks like. It's so cute. Our host is amazing. She's this really, really friendly woman and she gave us so many tips um, and advice for where to go for food and like places to go around the area, even outside of Lisbon. And this one also comes with a cat, except it's not a cat, it's a kitten. I'm so excited, <laughs> it's so little. This is probably dangerous. No! <laughs> no! She's cute. Oh, oh look, she's eating it. <laughs> hey, little buddy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's your name? What's your name? Hmm? What's your name? You're so cute.